Let's say some three. Not so, so much, so no. These are the very good friends. Mm. Oh, those, uh, English. Okay. Queremos darles la más cordial bienvenida tanto a Acapulco como a Riviera Diamante. Como ellos van a platicar de... Misha, what's happening? Diving cliffs. We're about to see everybody dive off the cliffs here. Terminando de las siete y media pasa. Ochenta cambio. Ochenta cambio. Empieza arriba. Empieza abajo. Another day, another journey begins. We are in Mazatlan right now and we're heading to Acapulco tonight. Let's get going, guys. Goodbye, Mazatlan. We're gonna miss you. This place is really awesome, even though we were only here for a little while. All right, here we are back at the helicopter. It's a nice, calm morning. Looks like these guys are getting their A-star ready to go. A geotechnical uh, survey by the looks of it. And we just gotta figure out how to get these bugs washed off. It's becoming a big pain. I think that's going to be our number one pain for this entire trip is keeping that bu that bubble clean. Not a lot of water in these places, um, especially at the airport. A little bit hard to get. There's a bunch of birds here. You think the birds? What go kind left. of sure. What kind of birds oh, well, do you well, think we're going to find here? Just go to. This is nice. Okay, and that's it. There is this rock in the middle of the ocean. There's we're nothing not else there. around. Why no, not? there's a lot, of, a lot of birds. Oh, look at all the birds. Thousands of birds. Oh, the birds are everywhere. I don't even know what accent that was. But uh -huh. wow, this is a cool place. Like, what's it sticking on? Like, what's it on? It's on the ocean. I know it's on the ocean. Look at how much ocean there is all around us. This is like way offshore. Probably a mountain top. Yeah, a lot maybe. Of birds. A lot of birds. Yeah, that's cool. And then there's a boat over here that's going fishing, I think. We're just coming up on these uh, beautiful mountains here, and then off to our right is Puerto Varota. Never been there before either, but uh, I thought we were going to be right along the coast, but we have to tuck inland a little bit. Yeah, go ahead, Ruben. No, no, uh, that's the runway right. Yeah, exactly. We're just passing the, the big international airport where everybody flies in if they want to come for vacations. And we are clear of the radio, so you can start climbing. Yeah, beautiful. And yeah, check out these mountains. Very nice. It's the uh, first time we're starting to see a bit of lush terrain as we are coming through Mexico here. We are in the highlands of Mexico right now. We're to the southeast of Puerto Vallarta and these mountains don't look incredibly tall but we're at 9,600 feet so in, uh, even in BC standards these are some pretty good mountains. This is like the peaks that we have around Whistler Ruben. Yep. Like 
super, super high. Very high. Yeah. Just because it's warm. You exactly. Don't see it snow. You don't see the snow, so you don't really think that it's that high, but um, definitely. Big peaks. We're uh, out over land right now. You can see on the iPad or on the uh, GPS. I can show you on the iPad here. Um, got a nice chunk of land here, and then our um, airport here that we're going to, Manzanillo, is right on the coast again. And then from there, we pretty much follow the coast almost the whole way here to Acapulco. So, going to be some more coast flying shortly, but. Right now, just to hop over the mountains. Ruben wasn't too happy about the hop over the mountains. He thought we were going to lose time. Out of time. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I thought going around and staying down low was going to take more time than just popping up and over. So we'll see uh, when we get there how much time we lost. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot. About ten minutes. You think so? Yeah. But we got it. We, you didn't factor in the uh, the time for going around. How much time would that have taken? Ten minutes. No, that would be the solution. Would have been uh, going the other way before coming to Vallarta, going to the coast. Yeah. Not at that point. But yeah. I think we would, that would have taken an extra 10 minutes too. Probably. Yeah. It would be even. Man, it's no wonder that valley mind. behind us was all uh, smoked in. Check out this forest fire, you guys. It's burning big enough that you can actually see the flames. Check that out, eh? That's nuts. Ellie Port. It's always that, that spot there. Yeah. This is beautiful. Look at this. Love it. Nice, I like the colors, man. It's bright, it's fresh. This is the first airport that we've hit that's got like a little, little bit of life going on here. Nice. Right on the coast, right on the water here almost. That's very nice. So here's the city of Manzanillo. The uh, airport was behind us, that's where we just landed. But this place is sick. Look at this hotel right here. That is really, really nice. I, uh, I wouldn't mind living here. This is a pretty good place to be. It's quick, what man. is going on? We just got a, an amazing call. We got a call that we were on the waiting list for an interview for the U.S. Embassy to solve our visa situation for the 16th of May. And we wanted Monday morning. We got a call, interview, 7 a.m. in the embassy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. 7 a.m. Oh, that's, that's the incredible. best we can get. That's, uh, 7 a.m. or 9 a.m.? 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Who starts working at 7 a.m.? Oh, in the really embassy. productive people. Yeah, right? absolutely. That's nice, man. This is amazing. Wow, San Salvador. San Salvador. We'll oh, be there. Oh, incredible. We'll be there. What a great story and news right man, now, man. this is fantastic. Let's, uh, let's hope the Super interview happy. goes well. You yeah. guys better start prepping for that interview. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, this is crazy. Like th this this town here or this little resort town? It's not a resort. It's no, local. It's not. It's actually, you could buy the whole town. Yeah, you could. Oh man, do you, Ruben, let's do it. Yeah. What okay. do you think? Let's buy yeah, this. Let's get a do a bid for this. Yeah, we'll develop it. All right. Look this at that. Is perfect nice. location. Man, can you imagine the resort you could have here? There's nothing. Only local. Yeah. Only local. That's incredible. It, it's not even listed on the map. You don't know like, the name? Uh, no, there's no name. On, well, not on four flight map, anyways. Okay. Okay. Pin but, it. Pin it. I want to see on okay. Google. All right, let's pin it right there. It's a mess. That's, it had some mess, but like, wow. Is this a coal plant? This is amazing. This is, this is big and black and gross. <laughs> big, black and gross. Just coming into Ixtapa, which is a town I've never heard of before, but it looks very much like a resort town. Lots of uh, big hotels. Looks nice like a beaches. nice resort town. It does look like a nice resort town. It's an you, island. I've never heard of Ixtapa. Yeah, there is an island. Look at that. And there are beaches there, the island? Yeah. That's very nice. So I've just been practicing the name of the hotel that we're going to be staying at tonight like five or six times just so I can say it to you guys. Uh, but I'm not going to remember. It's Pierre Mundo Imperial <laughs> Riviera Diamante Acapulco. How'd I do? Uh, all the Spanish-speaking guys, forgive him, okay? Uh, That's the only thing I can say. I just but butchered mind. it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Pierre, it's improving. It's improving. Pierre Mundo Imperial <laughs> Riviera Is he a French guy? Acapulco. French, you? Is that French? French? French. <laughs> uh, I'm rolling the R's. Yes, my accent Italiano. is very nice. Italiano. Italiano, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Canadian, eh? <laughs> That's where we're staying tonight. We're super excited about it. Uh -huh. Looks like a really awesome place. We got a conference um, 
It's a... Uh, press conference. Press conference, yes. Press conference with, with Therese Macapuco. Yes, that's correct. Um, they're meeting us at 4.30 at the hotel, at a soccer field in behind the hotel. Really excited about We're that. landing there. Yeah, we're landing at the hotel. We got authorization for it. It's fantastic. Wow. That's nuts. This is out the Poco, you guys. Wow. Very nice. Our static's back. No. No, it's not. It's him. <laughs> no static. No static. Amazing. Yeah, this whole afternoon has been good. No static. This is amazing. Wow. Oh. Incredible. This is famous Acapulco. Acapulco, famous for, you said rock diving, or uh, cliff diving, cliff right? Cliff diving. Some of the most uh, famous cliff divers in the world have come from here. All right, this is the airport at Acapulco. I was actually expecting a little bit bigger of an airport, to be honest. With how big this city is, it's quite a big place. But um, that's a nice little terminal. I, I like that. Got to figure out where the helipad is. Based on uh, what we've been seeing in the past, it's probably over in the corner somewhere. Oh, there's a helicopter here. Maybe we can land there. That's a Dolphin. Nice. Yeah, right here. Ask him if we can land beside the Dolphin. Ask that. Acapulco, Ecuador, can we uh, land uh, right beside the LC here? The Dolphin, it's a Dolphin. Any position from um, to the um, helicopter? Ecuador. All right. Nice. Acapulco, Torre, buenas tardes, el Colombia, noviembre, seis uno dos Sierra Bravo, estamos. To the Dolphin, you guys. Talon helicopters just got one of those. I can't wait to see it when it's all done. That's nice. TPC people. I'm going to look at those towers there. Ah, yep. The wind in the station is 260 degrees, 11 knots. Report when takeoff. We'll report on takeoff. Take off a kilo. Okay. And then we'll take off. There's a soccer field there. Right at the north of the shoreline, avoid the track of the run. So the soccer field must be this right one, right? There are people playing there. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, helicopter. Look at that. Like H there. They put an H, H. there. Wow, they, they drew it? Yeah. Yeah, over there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're marshalling us in. Let's come over those trees. Nice and slow approach there. Okay. So slow down. All right, guys, this is our hotel. Piermunde Imperial Riviera Diamante. Did I say it all right? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Oh yeah, he wants to come down, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, looks like they got everything set up for a press conference here. Looking very nice. Wow, right out on the beach. I love it. That's fantastic. So that uh, press conference went really well. Must be my first uh, press conference. These people... I've got to be the most welcoming people I've ever had in my life. They give us three rooms. I don't know why they had to do that. It was incredible. The rooms are nice. The view is absolutely incredible. Let me show you guys here. Nice little uh, washroom there. Nice shower. Just had a shower, freshened up. Feeling fresh. Mmm. It's nice. And then, um, yeah. Nice basic room. Everything you need. Nice couch. Just uploading um, yesterday's video. It is almost ready to go. Excited about that one. And then check out this uh, this view out here. It's amazing. Very windy this evening, but um, really, really incredible. Looking forward to enjoying that tomorrow. We're gonna take tomorrow off. Like I've said a couple times, totally relax. Unwind from the busyness of our first week. Excited to feel um, the first week is getting just about over now. And um, we're going to go downstairs, have some dinner right now. Check out the rest of this place. It is very nice here. They have two hotels. The other one on the other side, much larger. 
for lots of conferences and that sort of thing. And then this one they were saying is more laid back and just kind of a relaxed pace, which I'm definitely down with right now. So super excited to be here. Acapulco, you've done very well. Let me take a quick second to show you guys around this amazing resort here.